with meteorologist Brian Ramsey. Well, good morning, everybody. Hopefully you're having a lovely start to Wednesday. A look outside. It's a quiet start. Calm out there. Temperatures tolerable for now. Satellite and radar showing high pressure continuing to slide into the area. That's leaving us high and dry this morning, and it's going to lead to lots of heat and sunshine later today. 74 for the current temperature as you head out the door. 75 in Slaughter, 77 in Plaquemine at this hour. But this afternoon is going to be a whole lot hotter. We're going to be back into the 90s this afternoon. 97 for a high in Clinton today. Looks like Livingston could hit 100 degrees today. So we are talking about some really strong heat out there. Farther to the south, continuing to see that heat. 99 for a high in Gramercy. Labadeeville reaching a high of 96 today. And the heat index is going to be a whole lot hotter. That humidity making it feel worse outside. Probably feeling between 105 to 110 degrees. Some areas could even feel like up to 112 degrees. Check that out, Gonzalez. So because of this kind of heat that we're going to be seeing today, a heat advisory has been issued for today due to those high heat indices. Now, remember, if you are going to be outside for a prolonged period of time, take breaks in the shade or maybe go inside in the air conditioning. That way your body isn't overheating. Drink lots of water, wear light and bright clothes. And wear sunscreen if you're going to be out in that sun a lot. The UV index should be really high today. In fact, it's in extreme values today. And also wear that hat. It can protect the sun, shade your face from the sun, which also helps cool off your body a little bit. As for the dew point values, those are remaining in that swampy category for the rest of the week and into the weekend, which is going to make it feel unbearable, feel kind of stuffy outside. And we do have rain in the forecast. It's just not looking that good today. We got really low chances today, really low chances tomorrow. The best rain chance is going to be Monday and Tuesday of next week. So it's going to be a while before we get any relief from the heat, but we could see a quarter inch to three quarters of an inch of rain for next week. As for those rain chances today and tomorrow, I only put a 20% chance if we're even getting that. Yesterday we did see two storms pop up in the area, one near Morgan City and Homa, one west of Baton Rouge or in West Baton Rouge. That storm uh, was a pretty quick spin up, but I don't think we're going to see a really good chance for that today, but we could still have that occur somewhere in the area. Now, what we are going to see is lots of heat, and that's because high pressure is continuing to build in the area, which will possibly lead to the first 100 degree heat of the season here in Baton Rouge. Future track radar, though, showing quiet weather for the morning hours. Once we get into the afternoon, we could see a couple clouds developing and then maybe one or two storms possibly passing through the area, very similar to what occurred yesterday. And they're going to be heading north to south since that high pressure system is directly to our north. But most of you will stay dry today. Your day plan are showing pretty quiet weather for the morning. The afternoon looking sweltering with that heat a high of 98 right around 3 to 4 o'clock. Your seven day forecast is showing highs in the 90s today, but back up to 100 tomorrow, the first 100 of the season. And we could hold that kind of heat with us as we get into the weekend. But relief is in sight. We could see scattered showers and storms next week, which could still keep us above average, but at least we cool back into the mid 90s. As for traffic, your roads